Hi guys, this is a quick review of the Panasonic UB9000. Now I had a luxury of um, playing with this unit, having it in my system for a whole month. And compare that with the UB820 which is a lower um, pricing than this model. Um, I was just using HDMI cable, running 4K discs. I couldn't find a difference. These are practically the same. Just, I mean, if, if you're using the uh, analog output in this unit, then that's great. But if you're just using HDMI, they are the same. Save your money, go buy the UB820. Now, don't buy into the whole, oh, this has a separate amplification, so it must be better. Nothing makes a difference regarding picture quality or sound quality. Um, this does have a nicer build. It does load up discs a little bit quicker and um, less vibration but nothing in terms of and less ambient noise from the disc but nothing in terms of picture quality or sound quality changes these are exactly the same another thing that i would really like to touch base on is this or the ub820 will not play mkv files with surround sound mix meaning if you have a hard drive or usb with an mk video file movie that has dolty um uh, DTSX or Dolby Atmos, this will not play it. It will play 4K with normal um, DTS uh, master, HD master audio or, uh, or and of course HDR, but it will not play MKV files with Dolby Atmos, which is such a shame considering that this has an amazing um, metadata reading that could adjust the HDR depending upon your device. I'm very sad to, to see this, a unit of this standard with this feature, not utilizing one of the most features that a lot of people are asking for out there. So guys, if you're in the market for a 4K HDR, Dolby Atmos, DDSX, etc. player, and you are just looking to use the HDMI component to for video and audio, then Panasonic is an amazing company but this unit is not for you. Save your money and go with the UB820. But if you're using analog output for two channel or up to 7.1 channel, then this is a step above its um, younger sibling, the UB820, and it's worth a look. Here is the remote. I mean, it looks nice, very nice. You've got a lot of buttons laid out. You've got a dedicated Netflix button, which is good. And it lights in the dark. That's a nice feature to have. Um, you've got the sound effects. And most of all, you've got the HDR settings. Um, so you could flick through the HDR settings um, to see which one suits your need and to see how well the Panasonic's uh, HDR metadata settings works. And it works tremendously well, especially, especially, especially for all of you projectors out there. Because as we all know, not many projectors, I mean, a lot of projectors are having problems with HDR. So this feature will really help with that issue. Thank you very much.